woken up from a nap. It is five in the afternoon and I just wanted to say hello. This is my current physique as of RN. I feel pretty good. Here, let me lower this a little. Oh, look at my tattoo. I got that with my mom. She has another matching one. It was my first tattoo ever. Anyways, so this is my current physique. Um, I'm still doing the um, carb cycling, and we're doing it again this week. We're leaving my macros just the way um, how, I want, how I told you guys last time, the update or whatever. We're keeping it the same because um, I got really good. Like, my measurements were all really good, and I'm losing actually um um fat for my waist so that like never ever happened so that was pretty cool and yeah i am actually right now going to take nala nala what are you doing over there pups what are you doing huh are you ready to go come on we're gonna go on a walk you already know where your stuff is? Huh? Ow. Yeah? Come on, Bobs. Good girl. Good girl. We are going, we are going on a walk. We are going on a walk. Yes, we are. Oh, little bits. It's really pretty out. Actually, it's really windy and kind of chilly. But tomorrow's going to be nice, and I really want to tan tomorrow, too. But it's a little breezy. Anyways. So, I'm going to take Nala on a walk. And then I'm actually meeting up with my friend. We're going to go to Skinny Fats. And I'm going to record um, everything there. Because you are perfectly capable of enjoying your favorite like yummy foods which I'll show you what my favorite foods are and so be able to be on prep and track everything and then hopefully we're going to do a great hill workout with I mean hill workout I'm sorry um, hit workout with stir so yes all right I'll see you guys at Skinny Fence so currently on our way to the best place on earth well in Vegas at least well I mean I don't know I shouldn't say that but basically it is my probably my favorite yeah I could say yeah my probably my favorite place to go eat like literally I went last week actually and I'm going again on my day off <laughs> but I wanted to say so on my walk with Nala we were taking the like the normal route we usually do like around uh, my neighborhood and I stumbled upon a random isolated road but it wasn't like dangerous or scary or anything um, and I look and there is like this pathway leading to this like beautiful desert like mountain thing and I was like what because I love um, running up hills and like just doing like adventuring and stuff like that and this was like a huge like big huge hill in the back of uh, this regular neighborhood that I live in and I'm excited now because I'm gonna do probably like hill work tomorrow now like I can run up the hill and then just go crazy on it and like there's a really sick view of the um, of the strip and stuff so I was like this is so tight see goes to show that you should never be safe all the time well I mean like to an extent to like be safe and always take the route that's always traveled blah blah blah, blah because I went astray and look at what I found a cool new adventuring spot that I can like go on and just go crazy and stuff I'm so excited okay I'll see you guys at Skinny Fats bye Ultra Music Festival makes the most We have made it guys so right over there is like a patio area I'll show you guys once we're inside 
So it's like super cool. And then this is the front. Yay, we have made it to the Wonderland. You look great. I'm zooming in on you. Yeah. I'm going to get the come. It's my go-to all the time. <gasps> Cookies. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I'm getting one cookie. Oh, is it coming? Oh, eh, false alarm. <laughs> you got me super excited. Look how cute this is. And it has this. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hi. Good job. You should start a YouTube channel. No. <gasps> I want makeup and outfits. You know who I actually? Okay. So guys, the food has arrived. Oh. I'll give you a close up. But basically, I'm gonna see how close I am with uh, my measurements. So I'm estimating that the sweet potato serving is like 100 grams, okay. And then, let me put this around. So then that's the serving of that. And then here is a chicken. Um, it's grilled chicken breast, sprouts, slash arugula, um, avocado, um, hummus, and a, on a whole wheat um, bun, or hamburger bun, basically. I think that's it. Oh, and tomatoes. There's tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now the avocado. I was spot on with that. It's one, it's 50 grams. Then, Oh, there we go. Okay, so the whole wheat bun's right there. The avocado, 50 grams. And then the sweet potato, I put 150. And then I was almost close with the chicken breast. I said it was 100, but it was 115. So yeah. Well, either way, but okay. So, 
So, we I just came from Skinny Pack, and obviously I tell her everything to her because she's my best friend and my coach. So, so I always tell her everything I eat and if I feel guilty in my feelings. And then she told me since we're at this phase right now. So, um, going out to eat is really, I mean, it's really the really nice thing about being a flexible dieter is that you get to go out to eat and you get to weigh your food or if you get, just get to guesstimate. And that kind of gives you that flexibility and sanity of eating out and being out with friends and being able to do occasions with people. But when you're on prep, <laughs> but when you're on prep, sometimes you, there's only so much you can control if you go out to eat. You can't control how much butter is being put in. One, you can't control how much like non-stick spray, like the ones that has trans fat in there, how much is in there. You can't control and how much oil. Just, the canola spray is a very <laughs> The canola spray bottle, like you know those like that's the healthier, quote unquote, way to go, calorie wise, whatever. If you look though, remember we saw this together? One, I think it's two sprays. A quarter of a spray. A quarter of a spray. It's like zero a trans fat, but it can be in point five. Think about it. <laughs> like you could put like, oh, you think like, okay, three spray, sprays is like a reasonable amount. But think about it. That, that adds up literally like. A quarter second of a spray yeah. is zero trans fat, but that could be like 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0.9. So think of that, but within a restaurant kitchen, especially us that we work at yeah. restaurants, like they put as much as they can to add as much flavor as they can, you know, yeah. so that can mean anything. So given that we go out to eat like once a week, we kind of have to stop doing that because since we can't control that margin of error, we want to be as precise as we can be. And not only that, but a lot of the stuff that you know you get out at restaurants, the portion size could be off. Something could just not be in the and, actual nutrition and then facts. We're about to see also with dairy like that could. So I do see some days that I'm more bloated than others. Yeah, and we're about to I'm monetize more of that. Too. Oh, yeah, you're right. With cheese, I don't have that much cheese, but even that. That much cheese can mean something, so we get closer to the prep. Yeah, because so. even with me, when I had like cheeses, really? like I came out super bloated, like really? my lower belly would show, would pop more the next day. Yeah, so uh, we have to monitor uh, dairy products just just to just to see how her body is going to respond. But are now the leaders. Yeah, uh, but we won't we won't. Um, we won't take it out completely because that's the last thing we want to do is like take out, you know, prime stuff that she needs, that she enjoys. Just the whole going out to eat needs to be a little bit more decreased just because the in inflammation that it can cause and the margin of error again. Yeah. So that's right. pretty much her update. We yeah. just did have food for thought. Food for thought. <laughs> food for thought at we just did three hit exercises back to back, two of them each, so it's been six exercises. We have one more and she's gonna die on this one. Okay. Okay. 